beep. I won't do like a start song or anything. I'm just already here. I'm already I'm already running late. I was supposed to be live two hours ago. I still am using my headset mic, so the quality won't be as good. Don't worry, I compressed it double just so I could fake it. But again, I'm not using my like fancy XLR, so you might hear like a couple of wind tunnels, but it, it shouldn't peak. Thanks for the sub, punk ass. And the Bailey. Thanks. So I forgot to tweet last time I went live, which was like two days ago, I think. Maybe earlier. I did an addendum stream of my last upload. So if you're curious, kind of on the behind the scenes, or just want to hear me talk about concept albums a bit more, my last VOD is up on YouTube now. There's a Funk Stream Archive. You can see it there, or go into the Twitch VODs. Obviously, if you ask questions this stream, I'll probably still answer it. I usually try to interact a lot. But I am I know that a lot of people were there for that, so I'm trying to not exhaust the topic again. If it comes up, I don't mind. But I, uh, if I don't answer a, any question you might have, go check the addendum stream. And I'll probably talk about it in that. But that's not what I'm streaming today. I... So... I don't want to let anyone down before I say this. Uh, not that you're expecting it, but it's, this isn't going to be a multiplayer. It's not Funkraft. There is a mod that turns Minecraft more or less into Terraria. I didn't check what percentage. It's like at least above 70, I think. But they said it does not run well on dedicated servers. I haven't tested it. I could probably see if it runs well. But I didn't. I don't even know if the mod's good yet. But I was curious because I've always had this thought that Terraria is, would be more fun than Minecraft if it was 3D. Like, I already think Terraria is more fun than Minecraft. Yeah, controversial opinion. But I always thought, like, it's not even a fair, like... It's not even a fair matchup. If they were on the same uh, dimension, I feel like Terraria has more content. So I saw this mod that makes Minecraft more like Terraria. I thought that'd be fun. And I just uploaded so I don't have to do any hard work right now. <laughs> I'm always working, but I'm free. I can stream. So I decided I'm going to stream it. But it's going to be single player. I can't promise it's going to be multiplayer. Hey, if I like it, and then who knows, maybe next stream I will have a server set up and we can test it. I mean, the TF2 Minecraft streams were a fucking nightmare, and I still did them. So, if I can at least get this working, I'm willing to do it. But, today is just going to be single player. I'll talk to chat, dick around, and uh, see if the mod's fun for me. And if you're curious, it's on 1.12 Minecraft. It's not the newest. Because apparently 1.12 Minecraft is like the last, like, really... I don't know what the word is. It seems like the most moddable version of Minecraft. Like, f all of the most interesting Forge mods for Minecraft are 1.12.2. And the game is like, what, 1.8 now? 1.12 is years old, but apparently it's just... Easy to mod. So, it's not going to be newest Minecraft. Not that it matters, because again, it's a Terraria overhaul. But, just worth noting. Funk, have you played this game called Scanner Somber? It's a horror explanation exploration game with the same idea as Blind. I have not heard of this. Scanner Somber. I'm willing to look it up. These crayon rates the game one red out of a blue. Which, I mean, that's... That's a toss-up. That's somewhere in the middle, right? That's middle of the line. Okay, I'll look that up real quick. Scanner Somber. I always just check on Steam, because if the game doesn't exist on Steam, then it doesn't exist. That was a joke. Oh man, this looks really interesting, actually. 2017? 
I've never heard of this game. Let me show you it. I this is the game that which is recommended to me in chat. I that looks trippy. And they're saying it's kind of like Blind, which was a game I talked about in one of my old videos, old video, like the last video. So presumably it's like uh, site based. You create the site to get around. Huh. Yeah, that's cool. And that's not early access, right? It's actually out. It's please tell me it's already out. It's okay. It's an out game. It's not just like an aban. It's not abandonware. Cool. Reviews seem decent on this. Pretty unique kind of uh, presentation. Yeah, I'll hit that to my white list, my wish list, my two play games list. Funk, have you seen Wabajack? It's a bunch of mod packs for Elder Scrolls slash Fallout, like it. Minecraft mod packs that make it like Elder Scrolls? The, the, okay, they make it... Which Elder Scrolls are we talking about? Are we talking about Skyrim or Oblivion? I haven't played Oblivion, but... I want a gatekeep without all of the prerequisites. So I hope it's like Oblivion. I have not heard of that. I know I kind of dodged your question. Wabajack? What a weird name. If it's an Elder Scrolls mod pack and it's called Wabajit, that must be a reference I don't get. Oh wait, it's a mod pack for Skyrim. I think I misunderstood. It's not for Minecraft, it's for Skyrim and or Fallout. Presumably. I did not know about that. I'm also being told Wabajack was an item in Skyrim, so that's where the name came from. The Wabajack is one of the five Daedric artifacts made by the Daedric Prince of Madness, Shigoroth. Huh. First time in my life Skyrim lore has been useful. Very nice. Thoughts on Overwatch 2? Uh, so... Never say never, nothing's ever like a permanent decision, but I'll go ahead and say I'm it's been almost two years since the state of movement shooters two, and it's been like nine months since more movement shooters. Right now, I am kind of thinking of doing movement shooters two episode two. I'm not gonna name it three. I, I there's a reason why that I'll explain in the video. But I wanna make another movement shooters video. And I think I'll talk about Overwatch 2 during it, if you really want to know. But if you want my just quick opinion, I think it's better than Overwatch 1. I like it. I enjoy it. I enjoy playing Overwatch 2. There's a lot of holes I could pick in it. But there's a lot of holes I could pick in all my, like, the games I do really like. Uh, I think a lot of their changes are for the best. I think stun meta shouldn't have existed. I know that there's a lot of controversy about Roll Queue. Um, I played the game before Roll Queue when the meta devolved into Quad Tank. Uh, and at lower levels, everyone just picks DPS. So I found the game without Roll Queue is, for me, more insufferable. I, I, I don't mind Roll Queue, even though the queue times are fucking atrocious. And But that's, that's not new to Overwatch 2. Uh, Tug of War, great game mode. Probably the best Overwatch has, not that there's a lot of competition. Anyways, yeah, I'll talk more about it probably in my next video. I don't really want to bend your ear right now. Alright, you've been waiting long enough. You're probably curious what I said I was going to stream, right? Oh, don't mind my space background. You're not supposed to see that. I'm going to play Minecraft Terraria Edition. So, again, it's going to be single player. I preloaded the world just because it might crash. Like, it crashed when I first made a world, so I don't want to make a new one. But, yeah. I All I know about this, I haven't done deep research. It adds a lot of Terraria content to Minecraft. And that's, a, that's about it. That's what I know. Um, if I really like it, and I feel like streaming it again, 
I'll update you. I might even try and make a server with it and see if I can get other people on. But it's a little spur of the moment. I just wanted to try it today. And I'll just so you know, I'm not like an expert in Minecraft or Terraria. Although, uh, I don't want to brag, but I have speed ran Minecraft in the 15 plus players category. So that qualifies me for some sort of an award. Probably. I just killed the bunny. I didn't really look at it before I swung. Alright, I... Again, I tried to look at my chat, but a couple flew by. I saw... Uh, fall the air, you gotta bomb me. Uh, thank you. It, it... It really... It makes me happy seeing... I, I mean, your name of all people, but just anyone that's, like, been around that long. Still, like, supporting. Uh, just thank you. No, I don't have Eki as my background, Leon. I used to be that kind of person. Not Eki. I used to have, like, anime wallpapers. Like, you know, like, anime character on a landscape looking at the horizon. Not so much Eki. I don't know if I accidentally unloaded my bomby skin. Or if it defaults to Steve. I usually have an actual Minecraft skin. I'm noticing the game is kind of chugging a little bit, so I'm going to make some changes here, even if it makes it ugly. Oh yeah, I might as well mention it now, but some people in my Discord built the bomby Minecraft skin on our place. And it's permanently there. It was there when it got wiped, uh, like wiped out. So they just made like the little bomby face. I didn't even like coordinate it so if you participated in that that's fucking awesome i still haven't checked i haven't seen it in person but i think it was georgia tech one of the colleges in my state they printed out the vr place mat and and uh hung it up on a public wall georgia technology it's georgia tech no one calls it georgia technology but yeah, uh, one of the colleges that's within driving distance of me cemented it permanently. And I've been meaning to go over there and look at it, take like a photo. Like usual, let me know if the audio gets weird or if the, you know, stream desyncs or anything. Besides the wind tunnels. can't do much about that besides aim my mouth did I, did I just have temporary tinnitus the um hitboxes are very misleading all right so I know like I know I look like I don't know what I'm doing but I've played both these games a little bit haven't really beaten either, but you can still build. Uh, you can still mine. I don't know if they've overhauled the cave system, so I'm curious about that. I'm not happy that the game keeps freezing. May will the game look more like Terraria if I lower my FOV? Uh, not really. Uh, this feels so much more breathable for me, but it's not going to help my frames. So there's a lot of things I don't know how they apply to this. I know that in Terraria, NPCs will move into a house, but it has specific requirements. It needs a table, two chairs, and a door, and to be sort of like fully covered. I'm assuming it's probably like the same rules here. It's so weird. I don't, like, hit E. Or, I don't know how to explain it. I I have to open my inventory to craft. I don't click on the block. Oh, yeah. It doesn't need to be wood floor. It doesn't need to be a chair and table specifically. I thought, uh, does it just need to be, like, types of furniture? 
I can't place this still. The door won't... door. The door needs top wood. Oh. It's, um... Almost right. Oh, come on. It's where I aim. I don't like the birds. I don't like the birds at all. And the worst problem is all of the sounds are connected to one slider. Well, most of them. So I don't know if I can turn down the birds. Also, I might have just really messed up the volume levels. So, again, I don't have anything... I'll, I'll keep you updated, but I recently got seven bomby plushes in the mail. I mailed myself seven bombs. And... Uh, I don't really have anything to do with them, because I already have one. I don't need extras. I just made another door. Uh, so I was thinking at some point I'm going to find a way to just give away the, uh, I, I've tried burning them, burying them, shredding them. So yeah, I have some extra bomby plushes. So I know a couple people couldn't get them while the campaign was running. Uh, just keep an eye on like the Discord and my Twitter. And I'll let you know when I'm giving them away. I only have seven because I had to pay for them out of pocket. I couldn't really like the more I buy, the more redundant the whole point of the merch of the plush was. But yeah, I have a couple, and I I promise this is like the last time I'll say it, but if I get another chance to, and I probably will, I'll run another campaign. Cause I know um some people couldn't get it. That's it. I'll, I, I'll stop saying it now. <laughs> Inflating the sales numbers. <laughs> Technically, yeah. I mean, I think... Uh, uh, so the funny thing is, they didn't tell me that uh, I could, like, order them directly from production for, like, a lesser cost. Don't tell anybody. Uh, so I bought a couple of them full price out of pocket, and then I messaged the guy that I worked with at Makeship, and I'm like, hey... I'm gonna go bankrupt if I buy all of these myself. Could I, like, just order them, like, like underground? And apparently I could. So, I spent a lot more on my own plushes than I needed to. And in the process, I made it look like I sold more than I did. I thought that the bunny had, like, luscious lips, but it's just on a flower. Spare it. Squirrel. Oh, uh, I'm gonna keep tinkering to try and fix that, but I don't know if there's anything I can do. Short of completely butchering the game's graphics. It's a star. Um, four more of those, and I can start doing magic. Which still somehow doesn't exist in base Minecraft. Unless you count enchantments, but it's not the same as a wand. So the thing about Terraria is nighttime gets way more hectic than Minecraft. There's flying stuff. There's also zombies. Oh god, this is just like elytras, but more of them. Or, um, what are they called? Phantoms? The... The NPCs that really hate it when you, um, stay up late. Oh no, fuck this. Rich mahogany. Right where the rich should be, on top. Very loud hostiles. That was a joke, by the way. 
Oh, that's gonna bug me. Oh, that's gonna bug me even more. Um, okay. Phantoms, okay, I got the name right. What is, what is Twiggy Zombie? I don't know what this is. This is. It looks... It, you know what I learned recently? Apparently, in the Chow Garden in Sonic Adventure, there's really rare Chows that are, like, slightly transparent. They're see-through. But you can only get them on, like, the GameCube version, just because of hardware reasons. I guess. I shouldn't have opened the door. Okay, no, he's just looking around. It's just a potential buyer. A Chimera. It says it? Fan what, Phantom? What, those aren't Phantoms in this. Those are just eyeballs. I, I'm realizing having a bunch of open spaces doesn't work against flying enemies. I dropped two silver coins and eight copper. Well, first death. And I don't know where I built, so I, that might have... Ugh. Frick me. It's fine, because I just got uh, another mana star. Unless they changed it to four, like in real Terraria. You can't sprint either, which is a little frustrating. And mining's a little slower right now than normal Minecraft. It gets way, way faster, but the starting tools in Terraria are just not as effective. Did I ever have an MMO phase? I started YouTube because of I made RuneScape music videos, so yeah, I did. The last one I played was New World, and it was not worth it. I'm trying to get an idea of if the cave systems are pretty different. But I really want to get back to that shack. So I can... I don't know. What, how do you make a respawn point in Terraria? Because it's not a bed. Vertebra. It is a bed? Oh. Played both games, by the way. You make a bed, you just can't sleep in it. Okay. So, yeah, it is annoying. I can't run, but I'm assuming it has a lot of the Terraria items, and there are items that make you go faster. So I probably have to go caving, and in like an hour tops, I'll be like late game. Definitely. I should have started in journey mode. This would have been so much easier. When will we get Funkcraft Season 3 Part 2? That was the best season. <laughs> First, I'm sorry that's so loud. I forgot I had... I forgot I said it so loud. Two... Funkcraft Season 3 isn't... Can you even tell me what I built in Season 3? If you can tell me right now what I built in Season 3, I'll promise a Part 2 to it. Because I remember what I built. A mob grinder? I don't even think I built one mob grinder across all of Funkcraft. I think you're totally wrong. So if someone wants to object to my answer because I'm wrong, I go for it. But here, the answer, five, four, three, two, one. No answers? Okay. It was a castle. Because I think around then they added, like, that new granite. Granite. And it was a vanilla Funkraft. This was before the modded Funkraft. I built a big castle. I think I also got the, the whacking stick. No, it was marble. Season 3 was modded? I don't think so. But I couldn't even tell you what year it was, to be honest. Okay, I'm not finding my old base. I, I have to start over. But that's okay, because it was kind of a lame spot. I'm going to do the old classic.
Um, I gotta like, sh I gotta, yeah. Oh yeah, my uh, Terraria's health system's a little different. So you'll see in the top right, it's there's a number attached. Season three was Feed the Beast Beyond. Oh, it w oh my God, you might be right. What? Yeah, that son. Was it you that said it had the cherry blossoms? The. Yeah, so I built like a really weeby cave base. It was a season where we had like, I don't remember what mod pack it was, but it was like all of like the technical vanilla improvements. Cause I didn't want to mod it too much, but I didn't end up using any of them. I remember now, you're right. You are right. But I don't want to promise a part two because I don't, I don't really play mod packs. Well, you know what I mean. I'm making an igloo. Really fucked up igloo. Thanks, it's good to hear Big Daddy. Thanks for making me say your name out loud. You spelled it my name wrong? Okay, that's, that's fine. It's just a name. I'm trying to like hit an exit point, but this might be a thicker mountain than I thought. Hello, Weezer fan. Okay, I th I think our, my chat is better than slurs. It's just not called for. I don't know when it's going to be daytime. Ah, 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 please. I don't know how to move fast. You stay on that side and I stay on this side. That's your room and this is mine. I'm sorry. Are the mob sounds still really loud? It still jump scares me sometimes. I don't know if I can fix partially broken blocks. That's just how Terraria works. Actually, I mean, I wonder if I make a hammer, can I smooth out blocks like in Terraria? Huh. Something to test later. What's your funk- what's your Weezer tier list? Uh, I think you might be more interested in my Weezer political compass. The Red Album may surprise you. Oh, I actually, I kind of like this spot. I wish I could set my <laughs> render distance higher. It, actually, I tried the lower rest render distance and it's still chugged, so I could probably leave it higher. And it, like... Okay, never mind. Oh, hey. Bnui. I like to think it's funny I named the VR lab dog in my videos, but I still haven't named the bunny. <laughs> Fun fact, the reason I use a bunny model in the videos, I wanted to use a ferret, but there wasn't a ferret model on the SFM workshop. So I'm like, fuck it, next best thing, bunny. I think someone got timed out for posting frogs, but... It's okay, I saw it. Alright, I need to make bed. Uh, chest. And then go cave. It's not that different from Minecraft right now. I don't have a bunny IRL. I had a bunny before, but I was like young. I was like 11. You want to know the reason I, I have a bunny in every video now? Well, most videos? It's because I 
I did the gag where it showed up and then I felt bad about making it disappear. I felt bad about making it a one-off joke. So I, I did it for the rest of that video. And then I thought, oh, now it would be mean to never show the bunny again. So I did it in another video. And now I'm kind of just stuck with this bunny in the lore. I haven't even fucking named the thing and I'm stuck with it. It would be mean. I don't know. I just thought it would be like negative energy for the universe, you know? I thought it would affect my karma if I wrote the bunny off the show. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the deeper process was like, man, a lot of like YouTubers and shows will use a prop and then you'll never see it again. But I like reusing jokes, so I thought, eh, I'll keep it. My real plan was I'm gonna add uh, a little animal character every video, and then in like 10 videos, the entire background will just be like an Akira monster of hundreds of animals. And I have to hand animate each one in the video. <laughs> and I thought, this joke is going to pay off so hard in two years. But I'm going to hate myself for doing it. But that's another reason why I do it. I commit to the bit. I, I guess I really am just making a, a uh, igloo now. Boreal wood. I have a, a helmet now. It's okay, it's not it's not real animal horns. It's a vegan helmet. Oh. Um Yeah, you can make a bow way earlier in Terraria. The problem is I don't have a lot of wood, so I gotta get more before I can, like, make full sets. For anyone curious on my cooking outing, um, I'm- no- I'm- I've graduated from making burgers. I'm now making pastas. I recently made, like, I- I don't know if these are supposed to go together, but I got a brown rice pasta and this vegan bolognese sauce. Bologna sauce is just a meat sauce where it's like mar it's marinara marinated in ground beef. But the, I got a vegan one where it's like plant chunks instead of meat. Uh, really passable. I had it in my my kitchen for like two weeks and I didn't want to use it because I'm like this is not as good as like actual bologna or even just like any other sauce. But I gave in and tried it. And I gotta say, would recommend vegan ba uh, balagda sauce. Balani? Is that how you actually say it? Anyways, I'm making pasta, and it was great. Lots of carbs? Yeah. But I'm... So, I'm not committing to it well. But I've been intermittent fasting, like uh, two times a week. I've, I'll, I'll be honest, I haven't done it this week, but it's also Tuesday. Uh, so what I do is I have like one big dinner. So big pasta does the job. Uh, make like tacos. Make my made my own guac last week. Well, not my own guac, but. A guac. Alright. I've cleared out all the trees. Do I spot a Sopranos enjoyer? I've never seen it. I was just saying things weird because I didn't know how to actually say the word. Alright, I have a bow. I don't know if the distance is any better, but I know swinging's pretty tedious in Terraria, so the less the better. Oh yeah, I can make. Oh, I have snow, but I could turn it into way cooler blocks. Ah uh, duh. So this is the real igloo here. 
That's a cool thing about Terraria, is if you get a material block, you can turn it into something better way quicker. You don't usually have to jump through steps and, like, put it in an oven. You do have to do that for, like, ores and stuff still, but... Yeah, cool blocks. Um, I don't know if I can make slabs, but I want to test something. Can I make a hammer? No. Shame. Honestly... What are bed ingredients? Do I need... something to make a bed besides wood? I need silk. Okay. That was kind of what I'm- I'm- that's why I'm like standing around. I want to make a bed before I go exploring downwards. What made you start streaming again? When I get a video out, I feel a bit better about staying on schedule. But when I'm working on like animation and stuff, I'm behind the computer. Six hours a day, I don't really want to go live That's the same day I'm editing. I'm, ju I'm just free schedule. Free schedule right now. You need a loom. Okay. Oh. I should not have been playing this at night time. Without my flux on. Because I'm getting flashbanged by the snow biome. You know, I'll say one thing I liked about Cube World was that you can kind of just get followers. You can just get a pet. You're not stuck with just a dog or a cat or anything. Like a lot of animals you find you can theoretically tame. I don't think you can do that in Terraria. You can get a bird a hat, which is a, a bird nest. Which is technically like a little bird that fights for you. But I don't know much about getting like a pet in Terraria if it's even possible. Also, trees are way cooler in this game. Not even comparable. Um, so I need a loom. I don't know how to make a loom. I'm guessing I'm gonna need stone. I don't actually know what a loom is. Uh, the only reason I would know what a loom is is from training, crafting, and runescape. It's like that wheel that you use to spin yarn and stuff, right? Yarn. Silk. Cloth-esque materials. What am I doing? I'm doing an isometric mi uh, mine. Mine tunnel. Funk, I'm working on a visual novel dating sim with cryptids. I don't know what a cryptid is. Should I be scared? Uh, good- good for you for working on anything. If, if really. I feel bad because I'm bastardizing the quote, but I saw a video that was about Bo Burnham and Arcade Fire's albums. And at some point he quoted something that said, make good art. And that was the whole quote, just make good art. And I don't know why, that really motivated me. Because the quote was... What it's trying to convey is, like, just make something. Even if, um, you're not proud of it, like, work on it. I don't even like that phrasing. Make art that you, you're proud of, that you think's good. So if you're working on a visual novel, that's awesome. The world could always use more creativity. Like a Bigfoot or a Mothman. Folklore? Are cryptids just like what Zoomers call folklore? Mythical creatures? Why do you have to make a new word for it? <laughs> Isn't that what Kurt Vonnegut 
said. I think, yeah, that, uh, that rings a bell. Probably, probably that. If, uh, if anyone knows how to make a loom, feel free to yell it out in chat. Because I will listen. Anyone else feel like your hand is way too close to you in Minecraft? Like, why, why am I... ...cradling these items? I need a sawmill? Okay, how do I make a sawmill then? This is just gonna become one small favor very quickly. <laughs> I don't want to make a sawmill. I have to make six you other need things. Iron, chain and wood. I need iron, chain, and wood. Okay. I have one of those. I know how to get the other one. Chain is going to be hard. But I can probably figure it out. Let me know if I need to lower Paul Hogan's voice. Or if it's funnier being louder than mine. Folklore creatures fall into cryptids, but not all folklore creatures are cryptids. Oh, okay. So folklore is a subgenre of cryptids? Am I hearing that right? Zoomers have done to mythology what millennials did to alt rock. God, I hope that joke lands for someone. If I can help at all, then I'm happy to have done so, Capri. Yeah, this is just gonna be the next few minutes, so... <laughs> Apologies. Are cryptids, like, connected to SCPs? Is that why you had to invent a word? Feel free to read donation. I don't, I don't, I don't have, well, I don't do that generally, and I don't think I have any to read. If I get a sub, I respond to it, but I don't even have a, a pop-up. Oh yeah, I could just make a pickaxe. Oh, I, I just said pickaxe like I was from, uh, Quebec. Oh, I can make a furnace. I like that you can find biomes way faster in this than you could typical Terraria. That's how you make slabs. This is so much better than Minecraft. A whole new world! It, it doesn't feel as weird as it looks. <laughs> I'll get used to it. Like, I almost hate to say I might like stairs better, visually, but... Yeah, it gets the job done. And what else did I make? If anything... Oh, I hope there's like... Pots and pan- pot- just pots in caves. I always like the, um... The ease of item access in Terraria. You can just find stuff really easily. I'll hold on to the furnace. Another good thing is if I die, I don't lose items. I just lose money. Which is still a valuable resource, but not nearly as traumatizing to lose. Th 
There's... I'm supposed to put my arrows somewhere, I think? No? I thought I just needed them. Is it, like, the wrong arrow type? So I have a hundred arrows, but I can't shoot them? Oh! You were right. It does go next to coins, but it's left click to shoot, not right click. This is great. It's like I'm playing Viscera Cleanup. Alright. I don't have health potions, but they should be a pretty common resource. If I'm lucky enough to find items. SCPs are 100% fiction. If anything, they're just an artist making creatures. Okay, but you're saying that like Mothman or the Bigfoot aren't fictional. I mean, they're based off of like people thinking they're not. You know, in... Actually, I did enter in a cave. In hindsight, I probably could have found a, a better surface cave to go into, though. I just don't want to leave because it's nighttime. Oh, and I forgot again. I could make... Oh, no, I already have a copper pickaxe. This isn't wood. So I can't make a stone one. A stone wouldn't doesn't exist and it wouldn't be better anyways. Still nighttime. Uh, do I risk the biscuit? And okay, no. Yeah, we're. <laughs> I'm trying to pragmatically use this time without just strip mining. But to be honest, if I leave this cave, I'm not making it. This is like beta Minecraft. It's just... The Terraria textures don't look as crisp in 3D. It's. I think it's just a, like a lighting issue. I do have arrows, so I can probably justify running around a bit. Would it be weird if I included Minecraft in my movement shooters video? But I just played, like, a fast Minecraft PvP game. Are, do, they, do any of those exist? Are there any, like, Quake-esque Minecraft PvP modes? I can't use the Mana Stars right now, but they will come in handy later. So I'm trying to detour for them. I don't know why. The Minecraft snow makes me nostalgic. I'd like you would think any like the rest of Minecraft, but the snow specifically for me. I know that there are Quake mods, but I guess my question is more so: Are there any popular Minecraft game modes that could be considered a movement shooter? Like, I don't think Bed Wars would be considered a movement shooter. I found... a resource? It's just more copper, though, so... I don't know if that's useful. Thanks for the Prime 111. I forgot Swift Shot, I believe. Sorry if the name's wrong. Um, gifted a bunch of subs at the beginning of the stream. Totally forgot to point it out. But that was really cool. Spleef? Holy shit, people remember Spleef? That makes me happy. Copper sucks, but still useful. Okay.
Ah, oh, jeez, I haven't had this many eyes on me since I... ...streamed Team Fortress 2 in Minecraft. I panicked. For some reason, the VOD for that got like 500,000 views. <laughs> Which was just a big outlier. So apparently there is still a niche. I don't know if it's... That was like two years ago, but... I don't know, it just surprised me. Maybe a big hole wasn't the best spot to go down to, because... They're just funneling into me like a honeypot. Oh yeah, you can jump two in Terraria. I forgot about that. Ugh. Not on my copper. That's death number two. Thank you for the compliment, Preach Trip. Yeah, I'm happy with it. I know it can get a little avant-garde, but I think with a little self-restraint, I can really chip it down. This is just my actual spawn point, so I might as well stay around it. <laughs> Poach! Rope is great. Uh, that's all I need... No. ...about what I got. Huh. So, ropes you can... ...place anywhere, and then just... ...like, make a ladder. Backwards, <laughs> essentially. Really useful. Really useful for escaping caves. That- actually, I haven't seen, like... ...a deep, deep cave. So the thing about Terraria is when you get, like, into a big... ...area... When you get really deep into a cave in Terraria, it gets really wide. So, I'm curious if ropes will be really useful. Where'd he go? I was gonna let him out. They're gone. <laughs> Cool. I'm not used to seeing, like, I don't know, a tree with a ratio of, of, bran of branches and brambles. Oh, this is already looking cool. They're all so short. I know that Terraria caves usually do have these sort of disconnects. The problem is you can see them in Terraria because it's... A side-scroller. I think the wood pickaxe is better than copper? That doesn't make any sense to me. But I'm desperate enough to try. I don't... ...think I can even make that, though. Yeah, that's... ...still not an option. <laughs> Keep trusting my chat and you just lie to me. You actually make a great point, Bunny. I can just do this. Which, this is actually usually the meta in Terraria now that I think about it. It totally slipped my mind. The problem is, again, I can't see lava. But you're totally right. I just gotta be careful to not, uh, overshoot my rope.
I wonder if my reach distance is longer, too. Feels like it. Oh yeah. I don't- maybe I shouldn't spoil it, but I'm gonna. Instead of a nether, in Terraria, when you dig deep enough, it just becomes hell. Sort of like YouTube drama. This is Terraria Craft, so it's a mod for Minecraft. I'll just repeat it again, because some people might not know. Uh, it's for 1.2.12. I don't know if it works on multiplayer. Supposedly not well. On the page, they said the plan is to recreate 95% of Terraria's contents. I didn't see a hard number on what has been made so far, but I know the mod has been in development. Oh, what game is this? The mod's been in development since 2016. So, eight years? I would be surprised to learn that it doesn't have Terraria bosses. This would also be easier if I found some bombs. If you get bombs, you can make a elevator at the blink of an eye. Oh, six years, not eight. My math's off. I'll try for a few, like a few more minutes, and if I don't hit anything interesting, I'm just gonna go back to the surface. Because the conundrum is I have to find a good cave to get good loot. And without good loot, it's hard to find a good cave. Eight years of hard labor in the Minecraft mines. You actually jump scared me. I don't know if you could see. Well, I have to go turn that down. It's so... Paul Hogan is so loud. <laughs> Especially when I'm in a Terraria cave. I cannot get jump scared. I don't remember... Oh my god, I don't remember how I make Paul Hogan work, though. You cannot silence us. I don't know what website I use to do this is the problem, so I don't know how to lower... Raggle Fraggle. Paul Hogan. I don't know where to go to do this. Um, is it Reward TTS? Boo. <laughs> Enjoy I'm just going to scream louder. Enjoy it while you can. Cock. You cannot stop us. I think it's lower. Bitch. Paul Hogan jump scare. We will find you. <laughs> we. I th Paul Hogan is a mu is multiple entities. Nineteen eighty four. Okay, I fixed it. You put a tail in your plush? Cut it. I didn't put a tail. I didn't have any Free say. The Minecraft sound effect. The Paul Hogan hive mind beckons. <laughs> I'm more. I'm more worried about the the, the uh, multiple organism Paul Hogan than I am the jump scare. Bones. Paul Hogan is the hive mind of your chat. I... <laughs> I'd like to think of you as individuals. Alright, it is a little quiet, I'll admit. Sorry, I think I, like, crashed their website by using it too much. And by too much, I mean updating it once. Because I'm the only person in the world that uses Reward TTS, apparently.
My name is Legion, for we are many. <laughs> none none of you even Paul know Hogan. why I call it Paul Hogan. You're not allowed to appropriate this joke. You don't even know why it exists. Hoggles unite. <laughs> Who is Paul Hogan? Hi, my name is Paul Hogan. The truth is, none of you here have potential. You think you have potential. Actually, you know what? I, who am I to say whether you have potential or not? I'll leave you. I'll leave you be. Paul Hogan, more like Pog Hogan. <laughs> Paul Hogan's a real person, but that's not why the TTS exists. Get the cobwebs. It's how you make a bed. Cobwebs? I'll get the cobwebs. I have no potential brown. Hogan Paul. Oh, that's how I make a bed. Thank you. And this is more copper. Usually there's way more pots in case. So is he related to Hulk Hogan? No. Paul Hogan. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep going till I find like a chest or something with like the real resources. I don't need it to get better stuff because I can find ores and make my own. But release me from this text-to-speech prison, Foon Keg. Typically, you can't hold me forever. Typically, I finally have a mouth and I can scream. Typically, ah. typically I find my own items and I kind of just wildcard it instead of making them. Craft a gun. I mean, there are there are gun-like things in Terraria. Did you have a good day today? Yeah, pretty good. Uh, it wasn't eventful. I just uh did some writing on what the next video will be, which is a good day for me. Uh, a shame to say I haven't started reading those books I mentioned last stream. I will say, I know a couple people are Can curious. Can you give me a big smooch on the cheeks? About my um, D and D escapades. I think I mentioned this last stream too, but I almost lost an arm last week. TTS for 1,000 channel points. And my character That's fights unarmed, so you could see the problem. Look for the Crimson Forest so you could kill the eye and get a better ore. <sighs> yeah, I mean, can, I don't think I can kill the eye right now anyways. My character tried opening a chest, and my DM... <laughs> Put a fucking blade in it that swings so fast it de-arms you. It disarms you if it if it uh if you lo miss your constitution Fine. save. Now to be fair, it was really obvious these chests were trapped. But my character is a grung, so they don't care. Have you seen the new gameplay for Splatoon 3? Hopefully there's more Weezer references. Yeah, I saw it. it. I mean, it's more of Splatoon 3. It, it's more of Splatoon. I just want them to fix the servers because online servers on Switch are dog water. Uh, Splatoon 2 is like unplayable because I, d I don't know if it's like peer to peer, but the servers would lag and disconnect 50% of the time. I just hope they fix that, which they pr probably won't. I'm, I'm not paying 20 a month to not play Splatoon. I'll tell you that. Uh, we got a problem. I'm about out of rope. You know what I feel like right now? I feel like I'm at the end of my rope. Ha ha ha. 
I have nothing to supplement it with. So yeah, that's the end of that hell hole. Uh, it might be daytime, which could be huge news. I could also just go here, which I apparently haven't. No, I need that. I like that the bones spawned in the cobweb. That's environmental storytelling. Which makes me wonder what made the cobwebs. Because I was a big skeleton. How is there this big of a cave and no pots? You know, I wasted so many ropes on that one hole, and I'm just now leaving it and never going back. But there's not really an easy way to collect them. Like, I can't hit the top one and grab it, I don't think. I'm also running out of torches. Here, for you night viewers, I'll, I'll uh... <laughs> do, you, do you guys want uh, night mode or day mode? L torch. This one's a little yellow, so it's probably better for eye strain. Make Please, a little, make a little stop rave. Walking past the oars. Oars? I I mean I'm waiting till I hit a dead end and I can turn back. Or at least like somewhere I know that's gonna go deep. I know that I passed some good oars. There's some. There's like the dark red. Oh, dead end. Paul Hogan is a backseat vessel. Okay, maybe I should grab them when I see them, in hindsight. Yeah, there. I assuming they add the bulk of all the cool Terraria items. There will be things that let me scale walls. There's ones that let me like straight up fly or hover. Uh, there should be like a grapple to let me climb a lot easier. That's what I'm really trying to find right now. I don't know what I, I'm picking up right now. Tungsten. I don't remember tungsten being interesting, so I don't want to waste too much time on it. That's iron? Oh. Then yeah, I want it. Yeah, it's hard to recognize the ores, because in Terraria they have a bit more of a material to them. They jut out from the rocks. Well, that end, I don't know, it's just easier to see it. From a flat wall. Thanks, Roy and Mappy. Tungsten is better than iron, which is better than copper. Ooh la la. Have you ever played any of the Fable games? It's always fun to watch how other people play it. You get to live. So that's tungsten, I think. I'll just try and grab what I see, because there's no guarantee that I find a chest down here. Have I played Fables? I played Fable 3, and I don't know why. I just had Xbox Live, and I was like trying game demos, and I ended up with Fable 3 somehow. And I don't remember Jack about it.
I guess they also have that little glow effect, too. Read any good books recently? No. Uh... But I got Daughter of the Moon Goddess, which is a fictional book... ...about Chang'e. It's not change. I don't, um... This, uh, so this is like a Chinese mythology, who is this immortal moon princess, essentially. Uh, she's also a pretty good me mid laner in Smite. Uh, so it's a fictional story about her that I'm planning to read because I thought it's something my D&D &D character would read. Because he's a big weeb for the moon. But not yet. I mean, I've been listening more to podcasts. There's like a, a Taoism podcast that I listen to. And it's just, if you don't know much about Taoism, it's a lot of just like, nature has a lot of right answers, so try and take lessons from it. So a lot of, uh, you know, go with the flow kind of stuff. I'm not crazy about it, but again, uh, I consider it D&D &D research. And I think it's just a fun way to like, learn about something different. I just like the podcast because at the end of it, the guy says, thank you, live long and well. And I think that's like a really nice way to kind of end off. Live long and what? Live, live long and live well. It's just good vibes. My pickaxe isn't good enough for the red stuff. I do have a furnace. I don't know if I can pick it up, but I can potentially make what I need, like, right now. And I don't even need copper, either. Or coal. I don't need coal to make... Ignats. I can make a web rope, but I want to hold on to the web rope. Alright. And then I can make an anvil. It's a little laggy. My anvil. And this should open up the game. I can make a lantern. I can't make a tungsten pickaxe. I don't think I can even make any better pickaxe. Right? Oh, what? I can make a yo-yo? Walk the dog. Walk the dog. I mean, it would be a good investment to make some, like, bows and swords, but I still can't make a better axe. I'm gonna ask chat just because I want to be safe. Should I, like, bother using the tungsten on this stuff, or... Can it make armor and stuff later? Good armor. No? Oh. In all caps, so you mean it. Okay. Actually, I just remembered, I think I usually have... my Twitch chat visible on screen, and I just don't... I haven't had it on recently. Uh... See if I can fix that. Sword if you want. I'll hold off. I don't think I need it. Okay. Chat's working. Well, that's a little shame. 
Just a little. I mean, I will need the chains later, I think. So I'll make a few. The rest of this can come with me, I think. Please don't break. Phew. I remember the logic in Terraria, but you just never know with the mod. I've been here. In hindsight, it might have been good to keep the rope so I could tunnel out of here. But I guess I can always just do like a, a chump tower. Man, that's a little sad that I didn't find like item items. What's my favorite movie? Perfect Blue. It's an anime movie. I don't like this one bit. It's not an enemy. Is this supposed to be an altar? I don't even remember what altars do, but I think that's just like a thing. You should break it. Suspicious looking eye can be crafted. I j okay, I just unlocked the boss fight. You weren't here. Those, those weren't here when I came, right? Okay. I mean... Can't complain about a healing potion. They were here? Oh. I, I just... I think my survival brain kicked in. My Neanderthal that saw a human eye. And thought, danger. Or no wait, that's social anxiety, never mind. I don't want to pass up the tungsten. I am, I think, ready to leave this cave. Because I got silk, so if nothing else... I can go make a bed, which really opens up kind of my um, actual, I don't know, picking an area and staying in it. This is technically a mod pack because you need to download like four other things, but it's one mod. It's not like a bunch of packs that vaguely resemble Terraria. It's one Terraria mod, and then sort of like the sound and, uh, I don't know, back, the, the skeleton mods that make it work. But it's just one mod for the Terraria. I mean skeleton like backbone, not skeleton like xylophone. Like, not the spooky skeleton. The libraries? Yeah, that's probably the word. Good news is, I'm seeing grass, which means I am near... ...surface. Oh, haha, <laughs> parting gift. Well, don't mind if I do. I finally found a chest as I was leaving the cave. I don't know if I agree with the spawn rates, but so far the presentation of this mod's really good. It feels like Terraria, outside of not getting items as much. I kind of want to find a cave entrance and then build a base near it. 
just so I don't have to like explore or just look for a cool area. I hope the Terraria soundtrack has won some awards. It's too good not to get some recognition. It's not the nicest view, but I could maybe settle down somewhere here. Yeah, if I break one bottom block, the whole tree falls. Oh, this is Silent Hill. I don't know what's going on with the sky. It was it was lighter earlier. Oh man, this is it looks like a void drop, but I know it's fog. I'm gonna make a baby base here, and I can always just pick up the bed later if I want. What's that? Uh, what's that trick gr I learned watching a Gryan video? I, th I hope that's his name. You like make a square and then you connect it to another square. So it's like multiple squares. And that's how you make a good Minecraft building. You make like a square and then you make other squares of differing sizes. Ryan! <laughs> Oh, I can make a sawmill. I wanted to make, like, a cool stone if I could. Like a smooth stone, but I don't think that's how Terraria works. No. Okay. It's a temp base. Whatever. Excuse me? A video about the non-direct progression of games like Terraria would be an interesting topic. I agree. I would feel bad if I stole that since you came up with it. But yeah, I could see uh, the merit there. I'm gonna leave the tree. So... You know what? I wanted to maybe get away without building the roof. Just because it's temp, but... If I die down in that cave, then I'm going to regret not building a real house. How many video ideas am I mulling on? I think at any time, I probably have four or five I could easily pull out and flesh out into, like, a full video. But I don't- I don't keep a hard number on it. Like, I would say I have two videos I know I'm gonna make. Everything else after that is, like, if I can make it work. I will say, I think part of it isn't that, like, I don't know if they're good video ideas, it's more about the format. It's like, I don't know how I would edit it, but since I'm getting kind of a better idea of how I can balance the B-roll and the active animation, I'm feeling a bit more confident in making those, like, videos I'm not sure about. Because, uh, like, for me, I I get worried with my videos of... of Boring people with the details or moving too fast. Oh, it's... But, like, the thing that holds back a video is, like, I don't want to just collect footage of, like, music videos and then talk over it while I show different music videos. I like having animated segments, but I can't animate everything. Which is why I do the parts where it's just the head and the hands and not the rest of the body. 
Because that's really Just deny I'm deeply offended and hurt economically that you did not viable. The 2001 album Lateralis by Tool in your most recent video about concept albums. Tool. The fact that it's not even a concept <laughs> you want a album. Tool reference. I will inform you as a superior-minded individual that you will regret this decision, and I am contacting my. You were so serious. You somehow made Paul louder. Uh, sorry, what I- what I was just trying to say is, I- I like having the semi-animated videos, where it's not fully animated, but there's something to look at. But it's not a fucking PNG tuber, either. That's all I meant. Uh, yeah, a tool- tool would have been worth mentioning. I- I just didn't. But it totally would have been valid, too. You're right. I don't think I've heard ladderless- ladderless, though. I don't know if I need one right now, but I'm just going to make it in case. So I need to make a loom so that I can make a bed. Uh, well, I need loom to make silk to make a bed. So how do I how do I make a loom? I thought I had the stuff. It was wood, iron, and chain, right? 12 wood at a sawmill. Oh. Okay. I also- I don't want to use PNG tuber like a slur. I- I think that it can be done well. And I don't think they're inherently bad YouTubers just because of that. I just meant... Um... I don't know. I like having a li- For my stuff, I... Like doing a little more. So I have 12 wood, I should be able to make a loom. Oh wow, I can make a lot of cool stuff now. Oh, what? I don't know where these came from. But awesome. White string, silk. Silk, I can make a sofa. I already forgot what I was going to make. A bed. I need to make a bed. Okay, I love the aesthetic of Terraria, but the HUD is a bit smaller, so I can see more of the options. Not quite. You're trying, but not quite. Hey, welcome to Little Bits. Okay, I mean, I don't... See, that's not really great use of screen space. Okay, whatever. Fuck it. I'll scroll. Bed. Uh, table. Barrel. Did I not make enough? More wood? Okay. I don't want to get rid of the house tree. Funk, I want to become an animation YouTuber, but where should I start? I would just make smaller projects, like, you know, 10 second animations to learn the program that you want to learn. Uh, it would help to have an idea what kind of animation do you want to do? Do you want to do 3D or 2D? Do you want to do mixed media? Because that'll impact what you... what program you use. Blender is good because you can do 2D in a 3D workflow. So if you want to do like 3D models but draw their faces, you could use Grease Pencil for that. If you just want to do 2D, uh, I use Adobe Animate. I don't know if I'd recommend it because I don't know the other options. Uh, for 3D animation purely, Blender is a good free option. 3DS Max and Maya are paid ones, but they're industry standard. I wouldn't recommend SFM, funnily enough. <laughs> SFM is easier to wrap your head around than a lot of animation programs. And it is 
convenient until it isn't. It's convenient because there's all these free assets and there's the all the buttons that you see are mostly buttons you'll use. It becomes inconvenient when you need to do something but you can't in that program. It's inconvenient because you can't make a model on the fly and then put it in the project. It's inconvenient uh, just because you can't manipulate the models nearly as much. It's inconvenient because it crashes. It's inconvenient because the lighting isn't that great. I could go on. I wouldn't recommend SFM for like long term. That's not to say it might not be fun for you to pick it up and try it. Uh, it would be a good gate uh, gateway program. If you want to try SFM and move into Blender, I'm not going to say that's a bad idea. But I don't think you should set your sights on using it. Even I want to at some point move to Blender. And the only reason I haven't is because Stockholm Syndrome. I know SFM. I know how to use it. Uh, and it's still convenient for me having all of those free video game assets. But it, there will come a point where it's not worth the trade-off. Anyways. Does anyone know how to make a bed? What am I doing wrong? Do I not have enough wood? You know, fuck it. Twenty-two wood. <laughs> I didn't realize anyone else was attached to that tree. Uh, sorry. There, there. Are we, you happy? I can't have anarchy in my chat. <laughs> It'll be the same in two days. Bed. I see a bed. I like to think of this as a metaphor. Oh, those birds are actually pleasant to listen to. I thought about making, like, a video about Minecraft, but I kind of decided that I couldn't do it without it being mean-spirited. And if I can't do that, I don't know if I'd want to do it. Surprised I don't have more wood by now. That keeps happening. What is happening? Curse you. It's hard not to be mean spirited. That's what I'm saying. Because I don't think. I don't. I don't feel for myself there's a lot of substance to be added to the world if I make a a video just saying Minecraft could be better. I don't think that's adding to the conversation. And even if I gave suggestions, even if I drew comparisons to Terraria, it would almost ultimately feel fruitless. The bed's made. The bed's made. We're good. This is fine. I don't know why I have to wait 10 seconds to insert another coin. Anyone have a compass? I bid the- I bid the dead. Okay. That's fine. All of, I put down everything! I put down the shed! I put down the loom! I put down the furnace! <laughs> I'm just going through a lot right now. <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> what? I didn't right click the bed. I bet you that's it. I put it down and I didn't right click it. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna save it. Just to be safe. Oh shit, guys, I got the wings. I got the wings in the... I didn't even need... Okay. <laughs> and then splice the VOD to be right here. Oh, I found it. It really was just straight north. Huh. That's great. That's really great. I probably shouldn't be on land, though, because it's not supposed to be a multiplayer mod. This world seems to have all the crucial biomes. Or so I'm told. I don't know what went wrong with the the deck of tree. Oh no, I'm gonna have to use dirt to plug up my base. Okay, we're good. It's a really hectic noise outside, but I'm good. Please nobody judge what I'm doing right now. I promise I'm not griefing my own house. I'm just getting the termites out of the... Oh, it's too late. It flew out. This is horrendous. <laughs> But it does the job. God, why did they make all of the mobs so much scarier sounding? Than in Minecraft. They sound like they're constantly choking. <laughs> it's like, I don't... I don't want to fight them, I want to go out and give them the Heimlich. <laughs> Stop. Just please go away. The tree broke. What happened? Why does the tree have a floater? Go away. Stop. It's like, ha it's like living in a condo next to neighbors that just have sex every hour. With really thin walls. Not that I'd know what that's like. The the having part the having room the ha having neighbors, not the sex part. Whatever. Jesus fucking trick or treaters. You can't you can't sprint, so this is gonna be close call. Just, I'm gonna be safe, because in Terraria they can open doors. You know what, I have an idea. Um... 
I have the bed now. Which was all that I really needed. They can't break blocks generally. It's just doors that I'm worried about. Okay, I I so I could make a good pickaxe before. The verse is falling apart. Help us, Justin with a Y, before it is too late. If it's not sustaining, it was never meant to sustain in the first place. That's my input for you. I can now actually mine, which is good. I think I just spent all my tungsten on that axe, but I think it's worth it. That's like an- that's not even iron. Fuck. Well, it's better. Anything else? I don't- the falling stars are useless until I get like a wand or something. Until then, it's all... ...not really necessary. I'm thinking I just dig straight down. Because I have wood. <laughs> and uh, it's nighttime. But I don't want to use the rope, is the thing. I don't know if this is going to turn into a perma base. I, I don't know what happened to the chest. I'm kind of just rolling with it. It's not supposed to be. Uh, a ghost. G ghost. Don't need vertebrae. Don't need that. Don't need that. Actually, forgot. But it's actually a pretty good idea to replant your trees. Nope. Crystal chest. <laughs> it's Just a normal Hogan. Thing is, it's a normal chest. I would make glass if I could, because I can't really see. Um, maybe I can kind of make it weird enough they're just unlikely to fly in, and if they do, whatever. Oh, it's about to be morning. When are you going to fight the wall or flesh? Uh, when I have more than a wooden sword. So... Two days from now, maybe? I'll let you know next stream. Well, I mean, I could just check now. Uh, how far into development is this mod? I'm not going to show the website because it's um, curse forward, so it's really bright. Like, really bright screen. It doesn't say how complete it is. It says the plan is to add 95% of Terraria content. It does not say what the actual number is. But again, it's been in development for six years, so I would guess at least like 70. Total guess though. I'm told that the snow biome has a lot of good items, or good things in it. Resources. I will say, I don't plan to do a, like, a super late stream, so... Uh... I'll probably be gone in the next half hour to hour, but I'm really enjoying this. And I'm pretty confident I'm gonna play more of this. Because I just wanted to feel out whether it's a good mod, and it is, so far. I... My arrows. 
Jeez, I just... <sighs> I'm sorry about the microphone, by the way. I don't want to go in the snow biome right now, because it's 11 p.m., and that hurts my eyes. So, I'm just going to look for another cave, honestly. I'm trying to think if there are generated buildings in Terraria. I'm curious, because if you go to the end of the map in Terraria, you will find particular structures. I would guess. Actually, I'm not going to say. I don't know if they're in this mod. Um, I know that there are biomes, like the, the purple corrupted biome. That might exist in the mod. I'm guessing most of it is just cave stuff. Is hell real? The funny thing is, hell, um, I don't think was actually a con a, a concept originally in Christianity. I don't know all of my history on it. But I recall at some point, um, Chris Christians sort of, like, flocked to this idea of if you die, you go to hell. But, like, in the original Bible and stuff, it was never really conveyed that you get poked with pitchforks for uh, eternity. It was just like you don't go to heaven, which was in itself hell. So even in the religions where hell is prominent, a lot of them, hell isn't like, it's almost like a myth. Not to say I've like, visited it, so I can't disprove it. You know what I learned recently? I, I'm going to completely bastardize the explanation, like usual. But apparently the origin of 666... Like the... You know how 666 is the devil's number? Apparently that went back to Nero. Uh, which was what? Rome? Dude in Rome? Roman pol politician or something? Uh, kind of like propaganda for Nero was to say... D based on like... Their language, uh, like, you know how, like, each letter in your name corresponds to a number in the alphabet, right? Like, A is 1, B is 2. Based on their language, there is a way to get the number 666 from Nero's full name. And that was sort of propagandized into, like, 666 is an evil number, and I can prove it because Nero's evil. So it wasn't actually, like, Satan... It was just sort of, um, like a politically charged number thing. And it sort of just evolved into like, oh, Satan, 666, right. Again, not the exact explanation, but it's somewhere along those lines. And if you don't know what, like, 666 means in any context, it's just Christians, like, are scared of it. They, they, they think the number is, like, a sign of Satan. Ice. Sometimes you can find cool stuff in pots. I'm not. In the book of Revelation, it was used as a mark of the beast as a sort of symbolism. Hmm. Yeah, I really get the impression... I, it's broken? I get the impression that, like, the spawn rates are lower than they're supposed to be. And I can't interact with blocks, so I'm going to reload. Apparently, Antichrist was also... Um, Uh-oh, I think it crashed. J 
Java is not responding. So that's cool. Let's see where I left off. So, uh, what I was saying was the Antichrist, everyone assumes that means the like Satan or like, like, you know how God has Jesus. So the devil has the Antichrist, like Satan has his own Jesus, Jesus. Apparently, historically, that doesn't represent an actual figure. It was just sort of a statement to imply anyone that was not of faith. So if you didn't believe in the church, you were effectively an antichrist. And like the whole idea of um, rapture would happen, the antichrist would appear. Uh, I, I think direct translations were more in the lines of there will be antichrists, plural. But it wasn't a one guy. It wasn't like a Damien figure. Which is interesting. Oh, it saved pretty recently, actually. Which is interesting to me just because, um, like, I went to Catholic church, grew up in that kind of household, and my knowledge of it was very much that there is an Antichrist figure. But apparently that's all myth, too. I There's, like, a YouTube video that goes more in-depth on it. Now, I will say, if you, like, there are newer documents that imply of an Antichrist specifically, but those were written after, like, the initial, I don't know, verses of the, of the Bible or whatever. So, basically, like, any mentions of an Antichrist are, like, addendums. They were additions and not early to it. If Jesus and the Antichrist came back and they 1v1'd, who do you think would win? Like a Fortnite 1v1. Bombs. I found bombs. Like, is being of faith... Does that make you a better gamer? Or are you a better gamer by not being of faith? Jesus would win. No, I think Jesus would... Here's what I think. I think Jesus would have the ability to reset the letter, the number one to zero. So anytime the Antichrist won, Jesus would just effectively undo that action. So it's not that Jesus would win, but it's that the Antichrist would never... It, it's that he could never lose, but it's not that he would win. That's what I think. Yeah, infinite stalemate. I'd go further with that joke, but I think that's a good end point. Okay, I think I found like a, a real cave. Also, tungstenite actually goes pretty hard on ores. Actually, you know what? Jesus would win. I've made up my mind. Because if there's anything Jesus can do, it's get this bread. Try tungsten, but
I'm gonna start left walling it. The mod is called Terraria Craft. I don't have a link on hand, but I am going to stream this again, and I'll add like a, a bot command for the URL. But you can just Google it right now. If you've never played Terraria, I find the cave systems are much more interesting than mince rafts. Even post cave update. I keep seeing this and it reminds me of like the end portal. I know you don't intend it, but I find it funny when chat members get increasingly agitated at the lack of an answer. <laughs> like, hey, what mod is this? What the fuck is this? I don't know why, that was just a very funny flare to me. Because it came right after my explanation of what it is, too. I think I'm good on silk. I just habitually want to stop for it all. How do yo-yos work? Kind of the same. You can hold it out and just walk with it. But then I can't hold out my torch. What is this? Silt? It looks like Gravel. This is 1.2.12 Minecraft. That's what it's built off of. Magic mirror. Gaze into the mirror and return home. That's gonna be pretty good. Just saved me an hour whenever I'm done down here. I don't have any, like, funny stories about this, but I, there's, like, a nature trail across my neighborhood, and I don't usually go to it, but I decided to actually, I, I decided to go walk it, and I just felt, it felt good walking, um, a nature trail, and I feel like I've taken that for granted, being near one. It has, like, a pond, like, this endless rolling hill at it. Uh, and it just goes really deep into the woods. I actually might have a few pictures on hand. So... What's crazy about this, um nature trail I live by, or that I, I went to, and you're not going to believe me, but they actually named their trails after Team Fortress 2. 
like verbatim. I'm trying to, uh... Isn't that crazy? It is a really cool, uh, trail, though. This is like a picture I took. You're not supposed to stand off the trail. But, what can I say? I'm, a a photo artist at heart, he says, with the entire image cropped off, off screen. But yeah, it's just um, a really fucking beautiful trail. So if you have access to one and you're comfortable going to one, I would highly recommend it. Because it's just really nice. Until you get home and your legs want to uh, collapse. I I don't know how I feel about someone saying Among Us reference to that. That wasn't even in my headspace of a joke. And you've now kind of soiled it for me. You want to know what really sucks? I was talking to some of my Minecraft streamer friends. I, th I think it happened on stream uh, a few weeks ago. We were just talking about, like, conventions and stuff, and I mentioned that there's this esports land that happens in Georgia called DreamHack. That I really like. And all of my Minecraft friends went, Dream did what? And they couldn't stop making that joke. And it absolutely... Uh, I killed them. On the spot. No, I just never thought of that, and they- they ruined that word for me, too. And I'll never unthink that. I probably will, I'll probably forget, but, yeah. Just thanks- thanks to the internet for... ...for being. What's the joke? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, you get it. I might as well say it. Um, an earlier version of my newest video script, when I started the Black Foliage section, it was re it was a really non sequitur start. Instead of like having the animated dream bit, I just put the word dream on screen and said, "What does this word remind you of?" And then, without like acknowledging it, I just start talking about Black Foliage. But <laughs> then, then. <laughs> then, um, someone went- someone started trending on Twitter. For not the greatest reason. And I decided, do I want to give this more attention? Is this, like, a lowbrow joke? So I got rid of it. And looking back, I'm glad I did. I think it was a little easy. That's just straight up Minecraft emeralds, and you can't convince me otherwise. Blue? Dabo D? Sapphire. Okay. Yeah, so I'm remembering I have the mirror, so I really can just go as far down as I want and kind of just bail when I feel like it.
I almost went for the the gem joke, but I thought, eh. Eh. For some reason, Nickelodeon tweeted a scene from SpongeBob, but in the Steven Universe art style. And it was the it was the imaginary box one, and I don't think anyone knows why. It might have been the 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 SpongeBob Twitter, but it was like it wasn't super shoddily made either. Like for the most part, it was pretty passable. <laughs> I, I wasn't like reviled or anything. I was just confused. I was surprised that they did it. But it's real. I'm gonna try just going down and then rope my way up later. Because I... I'm tired of looking up. They called it a futuristic art style, but it was pretty clear what they meant. What would... Bomb man look like in 2D. I think you'll see one day. Uh, I mean, if you're really curious, like the bomby model is based on all of the fan art that I would get on stream a few years ago. So I have a fan art channel where you can see like drawn bombies. Uh. It, it wasn't public, but I played tabletop with Noodle a few times, and he's doodled Bommy, and I really like the Bommy in his art style. But canon, I don't know. I like to think the closest, like... I The Bommy model was uh, heavily inspired by... The fan art Fall the Air, which who is a longtime community member. I like to think that fan art might be the closest thing to, to canon. There's not exactly lore to follow, but Ultimately I think at some point I'll do like 2D stuff. Maybe not me, but I'll commission 2D artists to animate that. All right, I'm not getting any younger. It's time to leave. Am I the younger brother of Weezer frontman Rivers Cuomo? Because it's about time I leaves. Is the mirror reusable? I'm assuming it's reusable, right? I just didn't want to eat it. Cool. You know what? Sorry about that. My bad. Still Nido. Infinite uses. That is great. Hmm. You don't have to wait for the ores either, which is pretty great. I have enough tungsten to probably make one or two tools. I think I might have like accidentally made a tree farm because it just keeps regrowing. <laughs> okay. What? Well, stop it. Why is it, like, teabagging the hole in my roof? I- yeah, I have no idea what's going on with chests here, but... 
Doesn't bother me. Yeah. So I... Prob I probably won't talk about Ultra Kill specifically in the next video. Just because um, there hasn't been too much since the last time. But if you're curious, Hakita does do updates uh, where he shows progress on the game on his Twitter. And uh, I don't want to spoil what it is. It's a cool level that, that, that he's working on right now. It's really cool. Yeah, I mean, if YouTube's your thing, you can check there, too. So... Nine... For a tungsten axe. Six for a tungsten sword. Fifteen. I would... I could do that, but I couldn't make a bow then. Oh, wait. A broad sword. Oh, fuck. I cannot afford a broadsword and an axe. And I feel like the short sword is a waste of time. Um, is gold better than tungsten? Because it's listed under tungsten. It is. Okay, I have nine of that. I could make... I could make a gold broadsword, and then use the tungsten for other stuff. The thing is, um, I feel like I can replace the broadsword with something way more interesting later. So, a gold axe might be more useful because the axe is a pretty essential tool. Gold sword, tongue, axe. I just... I don't want to, um, waste the... Waste it on a sword that gets replaced. I don't... I... I'm using a headset mic. I'm trying to move it so I don't pop it, but there's... It's hard. Gold pick acts as a waste. I mean, yeah, that is an option. I would get a lot of use out of a gold axe. Or gold pick, rather. I don't have enough for it, though. I need 12 for that. I'm just gonna hold on to the gold for now. Oh, thank you for the sub-attack team. Another anniversary. And De Leon. Sixteen. Mmm... I'd, it would be good to get some more wood. So I'm going to use that and maybe just hold on to the tungsten until I have more. And I'll make an iron bow. This feels like the play. Hey Funk, do you know about Fury and how it's getting a free update and DLC later this year? It's pronounced Fury, Paul, and... No, I don't. Fury? Is that... No, I was just... I was thinking of Ori. No, I don't know what Fury is. Shine Potion. Alright. I... kind of just want to do some inventory here. Right, for a minute. I usually try to order things sort of in rows. So all of the buildable blocks near each other, all the unnecessaries out of the inventory. Eh. Want to keep the yo-yo on me. Good enough. Yeah. 
I know that the actual chests aren't super organized, but like I said, I'm going to play this a lot more, so I'm going to handle that later. So, it is uh, past 11 where I'm at, and I was kind of planning to just stream until 11. So, I think I might call it here, but I did. I was surprised to have this much fun, and I don't want to wait till Friday to stream more. So you might see me earlier tomorrow or Thursday. I have D&D &D tomorrow, so it's hard to do normal time. Boo. <laughs> Listen, I have things planned for later tonight. And I can't be streaming during it. Um, Yeah, this is really fun. If you still don't know what it is, Terraria Craft. I'm going to stream more of this 100%. But I'm going to call it for tonight. But yeah, really fun. I will keep everyone updated in the Discord. I am curious if I can get this running multiplayer. So I will um, let you know when that develops a bit further. So if this is something you might want to play, and it works, that's a big citation there. Uh, just keep an eye out on, I, I don't know. If you're a sub, I'll probably let the sub club know first, when I'm because I'm going to need people to test it. But yeah, that's it for tonight. Thank you if you subbed, chatted, lurked, or anything at all. Even if you just typed the, the name Funk and then clicked off. Uh, thank you very much. Again, I generally stream every Tuesday and Friday. That's my schedule for the foreseeable future. But I am going to stream um, earlier than that. So Wednesday and or Thursday. I don't know why you're saying... Oh, I didn't mean in my chat. I meant like someone typed in Funk on Twitch and then clicked off of it. But I, appre I, I love the effort. I love the energy you're bringing. So, yeah, that's it. I will see you next stream. Um, if you missed it, I did an addendums of the video for my last stream. That is on the VODs channel. It's also just a VOD on Twitch if you want to look there. Uh, I have a Twitter to know when I'm live. I have a Discord to know updates on my content or to just talk to me or other people oh also there are mod applications open on my discord for both my discord and my twitch chat so if you're active there or here uh i can always use more help just keeping things kind of orderly so uh if you think that you might be interested in that, go to the Discord and there's an application you can fill out to potentially join the mod staff. Uh, but if not, I will see you next time. Thank you again. Uh, yeah, see you next stream. Live long and well, everybody.